G'day guys, Greg here. Now it is food review time and today I have come to the back streets of Murray. There's a place here called Ben's on Miller. They do burgers. I was told about it by one of my subscribers, Gibbo actually. He said I should come down and give it a go. So, well here I am. Let's go grab some Ben's on Miller's burgers and maybe some chips as well and see what it's like. Let's get some. Well, here we go. The Ben's on Miller Burger. I got one called a BZ Mac. It came in a single for 13 or a double for 18. I got the double. I also got an extra server fries there. It cost another five bucks. So all up this is 23 bucks. Oh, let's suss it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Gee, I tell you what, those chips look good. And they're gluten-free too. I didn't get the gluten-free bun though today. I got the milk bun. Now, this BZ Mac is a Ben's Beef Patty, Double Cheese, Ben's Special Sauce, Iceberg, House Pickles, and White Onions. Well, let's see if they got my order right. So, oh well, it's pretty fancy, this burger. It's got a stick. <laughs> now... So here's the bun. Wow, that is really soft. So there's the uh, pickles on there. The Ben's Special House sauce. More pickles. It looks like some cheese there. Beef. Wow, that's a decent slab of beef. More cheese. More beef. And underneath there, oh boy, that's hot, is some lettuce. Mmm. Alright, well I do want to try some of this Ben's, like, special sauce. Hmm. Well, it tastes like a sort of a mustard there. And with those pickles that's on it, it tastes like the pickle juice has gone through that sauce and, well, given it a bit of a pickle flavour. It's slightly sweet. And I think there's a slight bit of mustard in there as well. It tastes really good. Let's try some of these fries. I'll tell you what, they look awesome. Really crisp and really nice. Oh, wow. These are some of the best chips I've had in a very, very long time. Mmm. They're so crisp and so crunchy. Mmm. Perfectly cooked and they taste awesome. All right, well, how about we try this burger? I'll tell you what, it weighs an absolute ton. And it looks like this meat on here is pretty good. Let's try some on its own. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's got that really nice sort of overcooked mince meat sort of taste about it that tastes really good i'm not sure if it's very seasoned though hmm but i guess it doesn't really need to be if the other toppings are nicely put together i've been looking at you long enough let's go mm -hmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. 
Oh, the mouse that lives in my car is going to be loving those. Oh, it actually has a Big Mac sort of taste about it, except it tastes like a really nice tasting Big Mac. Maybe that's why it's called the BZ Mac. <laughs> Jeez, you're smart, Greg. But my first impression was that it was really juicy and really tasty. And there was a slight similarity there to the Big Mac, but a really nice tasting Big Mac. It's like a Big Mac the way you wish it would taste. Mm. Oh. Oh, mate. Mm. Oh boy, this is a messy burger, but the taste was really nice. Mmm! Mmm! It's finger looking good too. And those meat patties aren't tiny little patties. They're nice, big, thick and juicy. I'm really enjoying this burger. It's It's got that hamburger taste that I think that you always sort of look for in a burger. It's just really nice. It's creamy, it's meaty, it's got all the stuff on it. But I did notice that this bun is one of those sort of sweet donutty buns that I don't like. When you're putting the burger up to your mouth, you get a nose full of that sweetie sort of donutty bun taste. Let's try some. It's actually not bad tasting. Mmm. And all together it seems to blend in really nicely together. Anyway, I think I've had enough of it now to know what score it's getting. Out of 10. Value-wise, $18 for the burger. Oh, boy. Oh, mate. I could have got the single for 13 That's pretty standard for one of these um, food truck sort of burger prices, though. But for that, you're getting a really nice-tasting burger that's massive and it's big and thick and juicy and tasty. The fries, well, they were $5, but i got to tell you, they're the best fries I've had in a very, very long time. Altogether, this is a meal that is really going to fill me up, and I'm going to be struggling to finish it. You could probably even cut it in two and feed two people for that. I know, that's what old cheapskate Greg would be doing if I was me. So for my all over value, all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score, for the BZ Mac from Ben's on Miller at Murray. It's getting up. A nine and a half out of ten. Well, this is one of the best burgers I've had in a long time, and well, the only reason I'm taking some off is because 18 bucks. No one should have to ever spend 18 bucks on a burger. But in this case, it's <laughs> probably well worth the money. And the burger tastes really awesome. It's a 10 out of 10 burger. And these chips, they're 10 out of 10 chips too. They taste amazing. You can really taste all the ingredients on this. The pickles are really nice and tasty. The cheese just melts through nicely and you can taste that. The sauce isn't too overpowering. It blends in nicely and all together it's just a great tasting burger. If you've got the money, then this is a 10 out of 10 feed every day of the week. But if you're a pauper like, well, nearly everyone, then nine and a half is pretty fair, I reckon. So what's my recommendation, mate? If you're in the back streets of Murray and you're thinking, oh, should I go to Red Rooter or the Hungry Jacks up the road or the Maccas around here? Mate, whip on into Ben's on Miller. I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. And by the looks of the crowd that pours into this place, it's a pretty popular place. And it's probably one that you'll want to try out. And it's gluten free for all you celiacs too, so what more do you want? Anyway, I'm going to uh, sit here and try and finish this feed off. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Maybe there's, there's some pigeons around here, they might be able to help me. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. I try and support a small business. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen with a review.